Hey guys, Ashley here, back with another day of our Pokemon Advent Calendar for 2023. It is day 12, as you could probably guess from, you know, me pointing the camera at the 12. Today we have Togepi! I can't do the Togepi thing, I wish I could, it's so adorable. We have Togepi here as our little, um, as our cam um, Pokemon guest, that's what I'm trying to say, almost like camera guest. Uh, so Togepi is going to just, you know, stand there and keep us company and I'm probably gonna have to set the camera I poked into the thing here so I could try and do it one-handed but it's a bigger door so I think you guys are just gonna have to look at Tokopi. Tokopi's gonna do a handstand for you guys while I open this door how about that Ooh. okay this, I'm actually I knew that this was gonna be in the calendar eventually I just didn't know what day I'm really excited for this. Okay, Tokopi, let's get you off your head. I'm gonna get all dizzy. I really wish I could do the Tokopi sound. Okay, so guys, we got another paper craft today. Yesterday we got Totodile, who is... I, I love this Totodile. Like, he's not as shiny as the others for some reason, but like it does, but he does still have some shine to him. It's just not... I, just, I don't know, I just feel like it's a little less shimmery, but I just, I love him. I love his pose, he's like, little, he's just a little dinosaur, little, he reminds me of Godzilla for some reason, the way he's posed. But this is like, this was like one of my deciding factors for this calendar, was this particular thing, I saw it in one of like the promo pictures, and it is just, I don't know, it just it just looks so cute. It's a little gingerbread house. So I knew that this was gonna be in this calendar. I didn't know what day, I just know that like, I, I just remember I saw that when I was ordering. So far, pretty straightforward, popping this together. Okay. I love this, guys. This gingerbread house, I, I love it. I've seen a lot of gingerbread house stuff this year. Like I was at Meyer recently and they had like a perler bead set to make. Like a little perler bead uh, gingerbread house that you, you know, you do the beads on the, by, you know, you follow the pattern with the beads and then you like glue it all, you glue it together after. Well, I don't know if you'd have to glue it or if it slots together. I didn't really look closely at it. I think they have like a free pattern as well on their site for a gingerbread house. I think I remember seeing that once, but... I think it's cool that they have like an all-in-one kit so you don't have to like worry if you have enough beads or not. There we go. Took me a minute to get it all popped together. Look how cute this is. So there's no bottom piece. So it is hollow. But it still feels really sturdy. And I just, I love the little detail. Like I said, I love like the candy and just like sweet treats theming of this calendar. But this is so cute. Like we got, excuse me, we got like little icing detailing on it little snowflakes and then we have like the door and like the um you know there's more windows on the side the way that the top looks, it it just it looks like a little gingerbread house it's so cute i'll probably put this like with with like my american girl dolls after this or maybe i'll just even set it in the china cabinet because it's that cute and i just love this little gingerbread house i like all the little detail on it i like the little like mint up here Kind of like a little window, almost. Um, and just the way that the... Oh, I put this one on upside down, didn't I? Hmm. Well, I'll fix that later. I, I put both of this... I put both side windows on upside down, guys. Wow. Here, I'm going to flip one over so you guys can see how it should look. Because, wow. I was so excited and so... Excited. Sorry about that. I accidentally cut the camera off. But anyway... Um, you guys won't even be able to tell. I'll stitch it together and it'll, it'll, it'll be fine. But anyway, so this is how it should look. And I like this, like, there's a little detailing of the snow down at the bottom that carries along the ho around the house, except for on this side, because I, I still have this upside down. You know, I may as well just fix it. Like, why not, right? Like, it only takes a couple seconds. I say as I proceed to, like, start knocking the roof off of the house. There we go. So I love like the little detailing of the snow, how it goes all around the house, and like, like I said, like with with the frosting windows, I love the detailing of that and like the little, just the, all these little frosting details over it. But I especially love how the frosting's been used to form like snow and like little icicles like that. Like it's so cute, and like for the um, individual 
pieces on the roof. Like, I could imagine this as, like, a real little gingerbread house, you know? It's just, it's the cutest thing. I've also put this roof piece on um, the wrong way, but you can't really tell that. But one side, I, I feel like, looks like a little bit shinier. That's how I can t kind of tell, like, one side almost looks flatter. I don't know if that makes sense. But if you were looking at it, then I think you would know what I mean. This roof piece is upside down, isn't it? Wow. Everything's upside down, apparently, but you guys get the gist of how it should look. I'll fix that off camera so this video doesn't end up too long. And, like, I don't know what else to say anyway. I just keep saying how cute this is and how much I love this little this little uh, piece of the calendar. Like I said, like this was one of the things like I saw in the image. I had to order the calendar online, and one of the images showed this little gingerbread house, and I was just like, that's it. That's the calendar I'm getting. And it wasn't, like, my, my first choice. I did initially go on to Lego, the Lego website because, like, oh, I'll get a Lego advent calendar. But when I realized the one that I wanted was sold, ones I, that I was interested in were sold out, I'm just like, okay, let's um, look into Pokemon because, you know, I, I enjoyed that last year. I also saw a Hello Kitty one that looked really cute. But anyway, yeah. And you can see, like, the detailing up there even. Like, I just love that. And, of course, it's, like, on... Like, even if you put them on, like, the wrong way, like, both sides are detailed. So you could kind of put it on either way. I just did this way. That looked more correct to me. Like I said, though, I do need to fix that upside-down roof panel. This is going to end up being long if I don't stop myself from going on about how cute this house is. Is my camera focusing all right? There we go. But, like, this house, this little house is just... It's the cutest! Like, I know I keep saying that, but it really is. In terms of, like, how big it is, like, I can fit it over top this Chikorita. Like, it's a nice-sized little house. I'll actually show, real quick, before I do my little sign-off here, I have knocked everything over. Wouldn't it be an advent calendar video of mine without that happening? There's how tall the house is next to the Tokopi Plus. Plus, and the Tokopi Plus is about maybe five or six inches tall, I think, maybe? Um... But anyway, so yeah, that is today's advent calendar. I am very happy with day 12. That's my favorite paper craft so far, although a close runner-up is definitely that rocking chair. My favorite figure so far, though, in terms of, like, just being themed for winter is definitely this. Oh, I do really like this cupcake paper craft, though. Yeah, if, I, if you leave me to talk long enough, then I'll eventually find some way to make everything be my favorite, so... Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today for day 12. If you liked it, I uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow for day 13. I think Tokopi is in front of day 13. Yep, there. So behind this little mint Christmas candy. That's a smaller one, so I'm guessing we're getting another Pokemon tomorrow, but could be wrong. We'll, so we'll just have to wait and see. And I am filming this a little bit later, so that's, this is actually also probably going to end up getting posted late. It's just how that ended up working out today. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, like I said, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!